Hi and welcome back to Warframe. This is update 15.11. Some biggies to take note of. No, there is not a new weapon with this. There is, however, some new Lisette decorations. The Nobblehead dolls, they're called. You've got uh, Volt. I'm assuming it's these ones that are the new ones. Not actually sure on that one. Nope. Because there it is, the Arid Lancer and rock to be honest i am tempted on rock but i'm gonna fight the urge because i accidentally bought way more of these things than i should have i bought four in total which isn't really a lot i would like a lot more of these but at 35 platinum each for something that basically is just going to sit there and do this the big change though is it's got to be ember for this if you take a look at our stats on the right, Ember now has 100 armor. Ember Prime has 125 armor. That is a lot more than anybody else has got. I mean, okay, yes, Frost has 190 stand. Used to be 150. Hydroid's only got 65. Banshee, I think, is 15. Wow. That's what uh, Ember used to have, like 15. Now she's got a hundred. She's become quite a very usable frame now. And obviously the Prime version having more armor is a bit of a slap in the face to uh, Frost Prime down here who shares exactly the same stats as normal Frost. For the Arc Wing they've increased the Itzal's Uber, the fighting escort, to... It says it's increased it to 20, but I have no idea if that means time or actual drones that are around you. 20 drones does seem a bit much. So I should really jump in and check that, but there's something I want to do first. So I will probably completely forget about that, to be honest. So I apologise for that <laughs> way in advance. But when they actually expire, there's now a visual effect of them actually exploding, which apparently there wasn't before, but I'd never noticed that. Not one, only have they increased the armor to 100, they've also increased her movement speed. And World on Fire is now a toggle ability. So now you can actually turn off World on Fire. Not really sure if that's a good thing or not though. The weird thing about World on Fire is it says it will now consume 5 power per second. Uh, five energy over time so consider your power duration mods because it is affected by power duration mods so that is going to become very expensive to use world on fire so they've made her better by increasing her movement speed and the armor and then kind of made her a little bit worse by playing with world on fire I mean, it would be better if it just went on until your power actually finished and then you could take out your continuity mods and your power duration mods and concentrate more on range, but apparently it's still affected by them. Okay, time for the biggie, the big, big thing that was added in this update, and that's actually been waited for for a while. Now, a lot of people know if you have Zephyr, if you go to appearance, you've got a little Z here or a Z, however you want to pronounce that, and if you click that it will launch the Flappy Birds minigame, which to be honest I think two, maybe three was the most I got on that because, to be honest I forgot it was there, but since Tenno Live we've been waiting and it's finally here. If you equip Worm and go to Appearance, it's there, W, and this will launch I like the fact you can actually control him there. Wormius! Yes, we have jumped in and tried this. I, that was not intentional. I meant to record while doing it, but um, to be honest, I basically I got distracted and it was I'd recorded like nothing <laughs> because I forgot to hit record. But this is actually pretty well done. I am liking it. You've still got the smoke from him. He still looks like the normal one. And it is really, really nice. You've got mods that you can pick up while doing this that will change the there's one change the effect of how you shoot. Not really sure what that does. I mean, 
I'm shooting, but nothing's happening. Okay, I want that one. Yeah! That's better. Damn it! That is m much better visually. And I'm dead. <laughs> Don't get many lives in this, to be honest. But it is pretty addictive. Uh, I've run this probably 10 or so times so far. It's just the fact that that one bit, you're basically shooting black rounds that you can't see where they're going. And... Ah, damn it. Okay, that's the one I like. I like that one. So we'll keep this one. Now, there's not only this, which is a bit... Damn it. I actually went down into that because I wasn't looking at Worm. I'm trying... There's a bit too much going on at the screen at once, to be honest. And there is actually a few times where you'll have certain situations where there's too much going on on the screen. There's actually an automatic firing enemy here and he will seriously mess you up. God damn it, I, I don't know what this is doing. But yes, as well as this, there has been some changes. The the greedy pull augment has been changed slightly, so it doesn't pull as many things to you at once. Yes, the mag fix is because it wasn't picking stuff up. Not, it was picking up too much. That was backwards, sorry. The panthera not appearing on the ground. Oh, I didn't want to do that. Uh, when it's taken off you by the, the grenier guy who pulls stuff off you. I've lost the mouse. There it is. Nope. Wrong one. <laughs> All over the place. Well, when it would take it off you, sometimes it wouldn't appear on the floor. I actually had this happen and it scared the heck out of us. Because my thought was, oh no, I've just lost this new weapon. And it was actually while leveling it up. Before I'd even done a video on it. So I was... Petrified. Yeah, got the one I want. But it was just a visual glitch. Actually got to keep it. So was quite happy there. But that has been fixed. So if it was dropping and you couldn't find it, don't worry. It's been fixed now. Ah, bugger. I flew into that one. And there is a lot of other fixes, but to be honest, the biggie here is... Ah, me actually backed up into that. Has to be uh, Wormius here. This is quite fun but you spend that long dodging stuff you can't really see where the enemies are or they shoot very weirdly and you end up getting pretty owned pretty quickly but luckily you can kind of memorize it like you'll notice I'm coming in and I'm shooting in certain areas mainly at the bottom there at the beginning because there's a little corpus guy who's standing around here somewhere and take him out pretty well. I like the scenery outside the window as well. So, Wormius is with us. This is actually... Um, probably going to be too addicted to this. To do anything else Warframe related for a couple of days. <laughs> no! Pincer Maneuver. Damn you. But uh, there is actually a point a little bit further ahead that I'm trying to get to. Where... There is a lot of... Um, guys and they ah crap they are shooting like automatic weapons and it messes you up pretty badly now there was there it is automatic fire and you've got nowhere to go that's the guy who got us last time but when they were talking about this there was talk of rewards at certain levels and everything else it doesn't say whether they've brought that in or not that might come at a later date but there is a few weird things to this which will probably be fixed I should have left the little corpus guy there so you knew what I was talking about there he is he's still alive oh oh great I just increased productivity it turns out you can just hold in a uh, space bar and you'll just continuously fire that has just made things so much easier. Ah, damn it. I got over cocky. No, 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 no. Stop trying to kill me. I keep losing worm. But yes, anyway, we'll leave a link in the description below. Ah, I think I got that. I actually did. Yes, nice. Die. No, no, down, down. 
Then I want to go in here and up and just shoot like mad to try and kill that guy before that happens. God damn it. 380 again. I will kill that guy. I'm determined to get past that. But anyway, we'll leave a link in the description for all the other fixes. There's a few other ones, but it's mainly just uh, changes to visual problems and sound problems. So, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time.